You're listening to the Love Over Addiction Podcast. Hey, it's Michelle. This is just going to be a quick loving reminder from me to you to say that being in a relationship, caring for somebody that struggles with addiction is hard. It is so difficult. It's okay if you feel a level of intensity or deep level of sadness or anger or frustration. That's normal. And here is just a very quick and helpful tip for the next time that your emotions feel incredibly intense. The key to remaining in a relationship with someone struggling with addiction is a very common word in the world of addiction called detachment. What I want you to do next time you are engaged in conversation with someone that you love and you start to feel feelings of intense emotion, feelings of anger, feelings of sadness, you start to get tightness in your throat or a pit in your belly, or you literally feel your heart breaking. Remember that What they're saying or what they're doing is their business, is happening in their body, is their, the story in their head. It's their choices. Try to take a deep breath and tell yourself, self, I am separate from the person I love. I am a separate individual. We are not one. I am going to disconnect from feeling all the feelings that are happening because a separate person from me is making bad choices or is being hurtful. I am going to choose to cut the tie that holds us physically together. So visualize in your head right now that there is a rope from your heart to their heart. And when they make bad choices and you start to react, you start to feel the deep feelings of that person. I want you to imagine in your head taking a giant pair of scissors or a huge sword and cutting that rope right in half. And you are separate and you are now free. And then I want you to say to yourself, self, go back inside. Don't be, go outside of yourself anymore. Go back inside, go into your center. Go back into the center of who you are. Put your feet on the ground, move and wiggle your toes. Feel centered on the ground. You have now separated yourself and you are on solid foundation. You are the strong one You are the sober one. You are the reliable one. You are the safe one. You have everything within your body and your mind, your big, beautiful mind, to meet all of your needs. You do not need to turn to somebody who is dealing with their own illness to get your needs met. You have cut the tie for now. You have separated yourself and you have gone within. Take some deep breaths. 
Do not judge yourself. Do not beat yourself up for feeling anger or feeling sadness or reacting. Instead, be kind. Get centered. Realize and recognize that this disease, this addiction, this other person, this is not happening to you. You are witnessing another human being make self-destructive choices due to their addiction. But you are not addicted. You are the steady, sober one. Go back inside. Get centered, grounded. Stand on solid ground. This is how you put into practice the very common word of detachment into loving someone that struggles with addiction. And it is not a one-time practice. This is a life skill that becomes part of your identity. And when you master it, you can practice it in all relationships, in all settings, because you and me are very sensitive people. We take in the energy of others and we own it. And that can be an incredibly self-destructive, unhealthy practice. It makes us intuitive, but it's not helpful, particularly with the ones we love. So this is going to be a skill that you're going to practice over and over again. And you can use it with your children. You can use it with your friends. You can use it with strangers. Because ultimately, the goal for you, the calling for your life, is to recognize that when you go back to center, you recognize and feel that you have all of the capabilities and powerfulness and love and acceptance of self within you. It's already there. You do not need anybody exterior to point out to you how wonderful and loving you are. This is how we start to listen and get in touch and how we know thyself. So give it some practice. You can download this podcast in case this episode, in case you need to have it on file for the next time that you're in a situation where you're feeling too much. You can play this over and over and over again. I am with you. I am here for you. And I believe in you. This podcast is created for your support, encouragement, and entertainment with my personal thoughts and beliefs. We are bonded together by the fact that we love someone suffering from addiction. This is not intended as a substitute for therapy or advice from a professional.